Hey, hey, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's huddle. This is Mike, and hope you guys are having a great day. Hey, how was your week? Did you build it up? Did you build some momentum for yourself so you can get into the next coming week and weeks and months and rest of the year? Let's hope so, because today we're going to talk about how to get back what you may have lost. I don't know each and every, every one of you intimately, but what I could probably guess to the degree of statistics that oftentimes a lot of people lose momentum in their business. And they start out, they get some action going, they get some deals, they get some money, they make some checks, they build some clients, and then something happens, something steps in their way, life happens, and then all of a sudden what, what, what ends up happening is we lose momentum. And it could be by personal choice, it could be by fears, it could be by fears of failure, that you didn't have the greatest success before, or you're worried about having great success into the future. There's a number of factors that get us out of momentum. So what we want to ask ourselves is what can I do to, to get myself back into momentum so I can win consistently? And that's the operative, consistently. See, because we do things, we start things, we get results from those things, and all of a sudden, we life, as I said, steps in the way, or we become complacent, and all of a sudden, that momentum stops that we built. And it, as I'll talk about today, in my eight thoughts about this, is that we have to maintain momentum, Okay, and it's harder to rebuild momentum than it is to maintain it, right? But let's not worry about that. Let's be concerned today about if you're out of momentum or you want to double your momentum. These are the things that will get you there and keep you in place. So you can have, as I said to one of my clients yesterday, a weekly paycheck. Now, wouldn't that be great? We don't often have to have that happen in sales, but is it possible? I believe it's possible. I believe whatever you do today, if in 60 to 90 days from now, you're going to get a paycheck. So the question is, what can you do every day to guarantee in 90 days, a check, 91 days, another check, 92 days, another check, and so on and so on. So let's get some paper out. Let's get a pencil out. And these are the things that you could check off every day in your business and in your life, and you can apply this to any principles that you want in any business that you are in. And you can use these to help you to regain the momentum that you frankly, that I frankly believe that you deserve in your business and in your life. Because guys, at the end of the day, it is all possible. If you've gotten momentum before and you have lost it, the thing, the question you have to ask yourself, is it possible to get it back? Is what I did all lost? The answer is absolutely not. And if you got to restart up the whole engine, do it and let's get it going because, listen, it's nicer to be in it than to have to continually rebuild it. Does that make sense? Okay. So take out your paper, take out your pencil, pen, whatever you got going on, a Mont Blanc. I don't care what you're writing with. Let's take some thoughts down. So the next, the first, the next thing, I have to get to the first thing first, right? Okay. So the first thing, guys, is this, is we typically live in 90-day cycles, okay? Oftentimes, sales is a 90-day cycle. Our businesses run in 90-day cycles. Our country runs in 90-day cycles, okay? Our lives very typically run in 90-day cycles. We're coming to the next 90-day cycle in a few weeks, Okay. And so what do we got to do to do that? So here's what you need to do is you need to prepare for your 90 day cycles. Okay. Now your 90 day cycle doesn't have to begin when the next quarter begins. You can start it now. And that's my definite recommendation. If you are out of momentum and you've lost it, you got to begin today. I don't care what it is because short of you not being alive in 90 days from now, your days begin today. All right. So it doesn't, doesn't uh, preclude you from doing something now to begin it. So work in 90 day cycles. Okay. It's very powerful. Like I said, if it, you know, on the average of typical transactions in most sales processes, they're between 30 to 90 days. Okay. 
and let's be conservative. And I'm going to be really conservative and say, if you did something today that caused an outcome into the future, such as a paycheck or a closing for a transaction that you're working on, I don't care what business that you're in, that 90 day cycle will work for you. So you build upon that. So let's get prepared for the 90 day cycle. The next thing, the point number two, is speed matters, guys. Speed matters. If you are out of momentum, you've got to get into action now and create that 90-day plan and get your and get it with your coach, your manager, and you guys massage it, work on it. But listen, the most important thing about this speed matter things is one, you got you can't look for perfection. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't work overnight. Momentum doesn't happen today. Right now, I'm not into momentum, so I'm going to start doing something today, and all of a sudden, boom, I got momentum. Yep, it might happen, Mike. You might say, come on, dude, what's going on with you? I mean, really? You don't believe that it's possible that I can get into momentum today? Yeah, I believe that it can happen for some but guys, frankly, it's, a, it's an exception to the rule, okay? You can make a call today and somebody opens up the door of huge opportunity for you and you make a tremendous amount of money because of that one call. But here's the deal. Can't wait for perfection. And number two, you got to make the call. Isn't that interesting, okay? So guys, speed matters. You got to get into it t today, okay? I'm working on a particular project. You've seen some of my emails. I'm looking for coaches. And I've made the decision that speed matters, and i got to get that ball rolling right away. It's an, it's an addition to my business. It's a part of my plan, and we got to get it into action. I want you to get it into action. The next point right now is number three. Stay on top of the leads. You're in sales. You're running a business. Whatever the case is, you got to stay on top of the leads that you've developed over time. Okay, and it's effective and it, and it can get you business right away, right? Have you not called all the people that you can to set an appointment? If you have something in your book, you have a sticky note on your computer, you have a note in the back of something, you wrote it down on your hand and it never went away. I don't care where that lead came from. You need to call them and you need to, to reinvigorate it or you need to get rid of it or you need to table it, but you got to call it. Okay, whatever you do with it, okay, you got to do something about that. Check your book, okay? What have you done in the last 90, 120, maybe six months, maybe even a year or two? I don't care. Pull something out, go dig it up, and put it in a, in a, in a proper format, such as a piece of paper, a three by five card in your computer, whatever you do there, and then get the ball rolling with that. Call those leads, it's effective, it'll get you business right away and help you start working on your business, which leads me to thus the next point, which is you gotta prioritize, okay? Guys, summer or otherwise, okay, we get distracted, okay? We get distracted by a number of things, we're pulled in many, many directions. And here's the deal, the bottom line is the top people look to work with the most qualified people now, and they pull them in through their funnel, okay? At the top of their funnel, they have 10 leads. In the bottom of their funnel, they have one that goes out and does something with them, does a contract, writes a check, sell, they get their product, they buy their product, they buy their service, they buy whatever the case is. And so in that funnel, oftentimes people work at the very top over and over again, or they ignore it altogether, but they work it over and over again, and they fail to work with the people that can do something now. You just got to get it out to the bottom. And if none of those top 10, let's say in the top of your funnel, are worthy of your time, whether it's now or in the future, just simply get rid of them and replace them. But here's the deal. You got to prioritize that particular client and work only with qualified prospects. The next point I need you to write down is call all the people that you know. Well, don't pick and choose, but Mike, they may not, or they probably won't, or I don't know, I haven't talked to them in a long time, and I, you know, should I really call them? I mean, gosh, it's been such a while, a long time. I, did, I forgot to call that lead, or I've got friends in my database. Gosh, I went to high school with them. Maybe they don't know me. I've got a client. He's got, a, he's got an unbelievable base of friends and, and, and close people that he's worked with for years, and he's got that he went to high school with down here in South Florida. And every time I talk to him, I'm, I'm like blown away. 
And if he's listening to this recording, he'll know who he is because I say that to him all the time. My gosh, man, who do you know? It's unbelievable. And here's the deal. Call everybody. And I just told him this yesterday. We, we were actually talking about this yeah, yesterday. And I said to him, I said, you got to call everybody that you know. I don't care what you do with the call. Okay, I'm going to be honest here. There's a number of things you could do with it, okay? And but the deal is there's a and then there's some things that you should do. But the most important thing to do at least in the start out here just to get the momentum going is to call everybody, okay? And what do you do with them? Hey, how you doing? What's going on? It's been a while since I've spoken to you. I'm just calling to let you know and remind you this is what I do and who do you know who? Who do you know who? Who do you know who? I don't know anybody. Great. How about you? Can I help you and serve you in any way, shape, or form? That's it. Simple, quick, easy, and you call everybody in your base. And if everybody in your base that you have in your computer, on your phones, wherever you keep your data of people that you know, if you're never going to, if you decide that you're never going to call them, then do me and do yourself, more importantly, because it's your base, get rid of them, throw them out. Don't clutter your computers. We need more bandwidth in our systems anyway, and you need more bandwidth in your brains. No need to overload yourself with people that you're never, ever going to call. They're never going to be friends. They never were friends. Um, the past clients hate you. They, you're disgusting to them. Throw them out, okay? Start afresh if you have to, right? So call everybody. Keep in mind, guys, this last point on this is everybody in your base, okay? If you know, let's say, 200 people, your base of people probably know at least a hundred, okay? Unless they were just, you know, born and don't have anybody that they've known, but they, at the end of the day, they know at least, and even if they were, what about their parents? Their parents probably know at least a hundred people, okay? There's a hundred people, and that's the six degrees of separation. Knowing that number, that six people can literally network the world of over billions of people simply by understanding this philosophy. This is a great way to build momentum. Call everybody in your base. Hey, let's do it together. I'm, I'm in the process of making that happen myself, going back to my base and calling everybody for my new project. So let's keep the next step going here. Keep building your pipeline. What do you have to sell? What are you selling? Are you selling a product? Are you selling a service? Are you selling opportunity? Are you selling training? Are you selling something? What do you sell? right okay and if that sell if that sale is something that needs to be in front of people then you got to get it out into the pipeline you got to keep up your building your pipeline and just simply ask yourself what am i selling if you're in real estate what are you selling inventory okay you have inventory of listings okay and those listings are what you sell right if your shelf is empty when you go if you go into walmart and you're looking for a gallon of milk and you look there oh there's no milk then what do people end up doing? They end up going to the next store, right? What is your inventory? What do you have to sell? If you're in another business, if you're in the IT business, if you're in the technology business, if you're in the services business, selling financial services, whatever the case, what do you have to sell, okay? And keep up your pipeline and present that and offer that to number five and whatever the other number is here that we've got in number four, okay? Go out to them and let them know and make it happen. Number seven, as we wind this down today, guys, is stick to the basics. Okay, guys, let me say this, and I'm gonna, you've heard me say this before probably a thousand times. It's a candy store out there. People are inundated. They're bombarded. Okay, they're bombarded with masses of amounts of information more than ever before in the history of mankind. It's incredible. No longer do you call somebody and you're the only person they're speaking to. No longer do you call people and you're not the only piece of information you're throwing at them. At the end of the day, you've got to stick to the basics. And the basics are continual communication with great messaging to that in your communication to draw people to you, whether it's now, mid, or long term. Okay, It's very, very important. So you got to stick to the basics. What are the basics in your business that you need to create? There are steps and you got to follow them. In sales, it's prospecting, it's, it's following up, it's qualifying, it's presenting, it's closing, it's asking for referrals, it's rinsing and repeating. That's the deal. If you're in another business, it's probably the same. 
At the end of the day, you build your funnel, you build your pipeline, and you got to keep sticking to the basics. If you keep bantering back and forth, well, maybe today I'll do this and tomorrow I'll do that. And maybe the next day I'll do these other 10 things. Guys, you're going to lose your momentum and you're going to go crazy. To get back into momentum, which leads me to the last point here is, <coughs> excuse me, is do not stop working hard. Guys, it takes more work than you think to build momentum, but it's easier to maintain it once you have it. It's harder to build it, but once you have it, you got to keep it. So if you continually work on these other seven points today, with this last point being the most critical of all of them, because this is what got you here, this hard work got you into momentum, now you might be cruising and you or you lost your momentum and you need to get back the hard work that you got to do that you had to do originally to get into the momentum is now in your pocket okay so guys i'm going to wrap this up by saying get yourself go back to these points and ask yourself every day remember the 90 day cycle that speed matters that staying on top of your of the clients and databases that you have the lead follow up the clients in your database prioritize who you're speaking with don't waste your time talking to people who are not going to ever do anything but minimally nurture the ones maybe into the future because that's a lot of time where the bulk of business ultimately comes from but what we want to do is get business now we want to get back into momentum call everybody that you know know what you sell and get it out there into the world let them know hey this is what i've got okay i've got coaching i've got training guys you want some help give me 45 minutes i'll show you how to add a hundred thousand dollars to your bottom line in under 45 minutes totally free i won't even ask you for your business okay you want it call me reach out to me mike and mike husson hey i'm out here doing it stick to the basics and keep the hard work going you guys go make it happen have an excellent excellent weekend go through this plan we will talk to you later uh, well wait wait one more thing go to realprofitbuilders.com make sure you get this recording listen to it again and all of the other recordings that we have up there for you talk to you later have a great day